whole genetic story. Oh, right. you've got this cancer gene. There is no cancer gene. That's an absolute truth. I can say it right here. There is no gene that causes cancer, not one. And I say, well, yeah, but look, Angelina Jolie, she had a double mastectomy because she had the BRCA1 gene. And I go, yeah, uh, 50%, 50% of the women with the BRCA1 gene never get the cancer. What's the point? If the gene causes cancer, how can 50% of the women that have the gene not get the cancer? And the answer is, the gene alone is not causing the cancer. It's associated with it, but it doesn't cause. You have to have some life stimulus kick it off, and then we'll select that gene. Okay? And what would that stimulus be? Uh, mostly in cancer, anger. Uh, is that uh, proven, or is that just a theory? No, they're, they're, oh, there's a collective nature of who, who are the cancer patients. What's a characteristic of a cancer patient? Most of them are very upset in their lives. They're not happy. They're not you know, releasing their emotions, stresses, holding them in, bottling them in. Uh, and the chemistry of you know, stress is a chemical. <laughs> uh, and the chemical, here's, here's a simple fact. Stress causes uh, at least up to 90% of doctor visits. You say, how can stress do this? And the answer is very simple. Stress causes a hormone called, uh, stress hormones, cortisol, to be released in the body. I say, what does cortisol do? I say, number one, it, it causes the blood in the viscera, the guts, where maintenance of the body and healing comes from all the organs. It causes the blood vessels to shut down because it pushes the blood to the arms and legs. Why? Stress means you're ready to run, fight or flight. So you push the energy to where you need it, arms and legs. Well, where do you get it from? Well, you squeeze the blood vessels in the gut. Well, this is growth. The viscera is growth. That's what the organs are for. Arms and legs are for protection. What's the point? If I'm in protection, I shut off growth. And more importantly, um, stress hormones shut off the immune system. A, a, a reason is just energy. The idea is if you're being chased by a saber-toothed tiger and you have a bacterial infection, how do you want to split the energy? How much energy do you want to run away and how much do you want to fight the immune, you know, with the immune system? The answer is the hell with the bacterium. I mean, if, if the, the tiger catches you, the bacteria is useless, it's, it's meaningless, you know? So when you're in stress, stress hormones shut down the immune system to conserve energy. Does, does the immune system use energy? Of course, if you've ever been really sick, you never even got out of bed, you have no energy. And if you're in fight or flight mode, you need the energy to deal with the world, okay? So stress hormones physically shut off the immune system. When you're under stress, that's when sickness starts to show up. Uh, in fact, it's so good at shutting off the immune system, doctors give patients who are gonna receive a foreign organ, a graft of a kidney or a lung or whatever they're grafting, uh, that's foreign tissue. Uh, if you put a foreign organ in your body, your immune system's job is to eliminate it. So as they're transplanting an organ, they give the patient stress hormones at the same time because stress hormones will shut off the immune system so the organ won't be rejected right away. That's how effective it is. It's used therapeutically to shut off the immune system. Yeah, but everybody out there in this world right now, with a small exception, is under some level of stress. Stress of my job, stress of money, will I have health care, whatever it is. And I say, yeah, every one of those people is dripping stress hormones continuously in their body, and those hormones inhibit the immune system, and the result is illness. And if you stop the growth, you say, yeah, but I'm an adult, I don't need to grow. And I say, yeah, but you have to replace hundreds of billions of cells that you lose every day, every, you know, every, as I said, you know, we just lost now two billion red cells. <laughs>